Northamptonshire raced to an eight-wicket LV County Championship win over Kent at Wantage Road after Ollie Stone produced the best figures of his first-class career of 5 for 44 as the visitors' batting problems continued on day three. Northamptonshire had collapsed themselves at the end of the second day, so came out again with a score on 193 for 7, which had them 53 runs ahead. The first day of this match completely washed out. Now with the sun out, Richard Levy and Stephen Crook look to get their side as far ahead as possible. They'd added 38 runs in the first eight overs when Crook, who'd made 22 of them, was LBW to Darren Stevens, the lead now standing at 91. Stevens then needed only one ball to get rid of Rory Kleinfeld to edge to James Treadwell, leaving last man Azarola to stick it out with Levy for as long as possible. The South African had started the day on 20, his innings unable to get moving due to the amount of wickets falling at the other end. Time now then for a bit of a thrash. His good run of recent championship form now saw him out of 50 off 95 balls, one reached with this six off Mitch Claydon, which took the total up to 246. The lead on first innings now into three figures. Few would have expected that they were almost out of sight of Kent already. Later in the same over, Levy dragged a short ball from Claydon back onto his stumps as Northamptonshire had to settle for a lead of 106. This game had moved on at a pace, but it appeared that Kent would fare much better second time out as Daniel Bell, Drummond and Joe Denley knocked off 20 runs of that deficit. But there were worrying signs once again for the visitors when the former was legged before to Kleinfeld, who now had six wickets in this match. It was six for Azarulla too as he removed Rob Key in the same manner for a single and the alarm bells in the Kent dressing room must have been ringing again. They'd been dismissed for just 140 in their first innings after losing their last eight wickets for 47 runs in 58 deliveries. So they really needed to arrest another slump through Denley and Sam Northeast who were able at least to see their side through to lunch. But after it, North East left a ball from Kleinfeld alone to be bowled for four, with a total now on 58 for three. 16 more had been added to that when Stone was introduced into the attack. On the previous day, this was the time when the Kent batsmen had their best moments, and Stevens and Denley looked as if they were again going to make hay, while both Kleinfeld and Azarella had a rest. They'd shared all 12 Kent wickets to fall up until this moment, Stone striking in his fourth over to have Stevens held by Alex Wakeley for 28, with a total on 100 for four, and the visitors now only six runs adrift. But they now collapsed again, losing their last six wickets for 39 runs after Adam Ball was legged before to Stone. Denley tried to keep going, but on 39 he gave Stone his third wicket with a hook shot that sent the ball into the hands of Levy at long leg. The rest followed cheaply again. Treadwell was trapped in front by Stone, who now had four wickets in the space of 27 deliveries by bowling with real pace. And his fifth arrived in his next over, Matt Coles driving without the necessary care and attention to give another slip catch to Wakeley. Stone came off with figures of 5 for 44, bettering the 5 for 48 he took against Sussex last summer. Azarulla now returned to have Ryan Davis taken at slip by Rob Keogh before Kleinfeld found the edge of Ivan Thomas's bat. This time, Kent had lost their last six wickets at only 14 overs to be dismissed for 151, and that left Northamptonshire a target of only 46 to win for the second time this season. They lost Ben Duckett after 32 of those runs had been knocked off in no time. Coles with a catch while Rob Newton followed to Thomas a couple of balls later. But this game was to end in fewer than six full sessions overall, with Wakeley taking his side home. He would have been thrilled to get the job done so quickly. This the winning hit, which took his side to a thumping eight-wicket victory, a first on home soil since August 2013, and one which will reinvigorate Northamptonshire's chances of earning promotion at the first time of asking. For Kent, this was a disastrous couple of days. They're batting frailties and odds with the kind of stuff they're getting up to in the T20 tournament. It's back to the drawing board for them after their fifth defeat from eight games this year. They took only three points from this game, which leaves them at the foot of the championship table, while their opponents here are up to fourth for now and can now watch with interest over the next couple of days how their promotion challenges fare. They next head to Manchester to meet Lancashire from next Monday.